Step seven, your winning pitch. So what do you say to someone when someone says, so what do you do? What do you respond with? Is it clinical? Is it effective? Do people look at you and go, really? Wow, tell me more. Is that the response you're getting? Because if you're not getting that, you want to spend some time on working on your winning pitch. This can make or break a conversation. It, it, it's the 20 seconds when someone goes, I want to learn more about this person. Or the 20 seconds when someone goes, uh-huh, really? Oh boy. And gets bored or tries to walk away. So what are the key points to your winning pitch? I say it needs to be shorter than 10 to 15 seconds at the most. No more 30 second elevated pitches. We're gone with that. Alright? Just keep it to 10, 15 seconds. People can't remember anything more than that. If you're giving them more than 10 to 15 seconds worth of information, they're forgetting everything after that. So make sure you cut it down. It's a conversation starter, not a closer. It's not a sales pitch, guys. Keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it interesting. We want to get that aha moment. Tell me more moment. That's what we want to do. It doesn't say, so what's in it for me? Does it? Does it answer that question, what's in it for me? Because when I'm listening to your pitch, the only thing I'm thinking about is, how does this help me? How does this work for me? How can you help me and my business? Because that's why I'm at this networking event. So you need to find that answer. That is your pitch. Say that to that person. Is it specific to your audience? There's no point pitching a small business pitch to large corporations. Change it, mold it, work with it for a specific audience and you'll be a lot more effective in getting responses. It needs to be interesting and engaging. All right. Make sure that people want to learn more about you. Spend time on your winning pitch. Ask your friends. Tell people what it is and get their feedback. It needs to come from heart. It needs to be genuine and it needs to be you. Okay. So what I've listed out is the four steps to effective networking. Go through the four steps. Make sure you complete the, the full four steps. Work on it. Spend a bit of time. Another thing I'd like to suggest to you is go and ask your best clients. Take your best five clients and ask them, what do you, you find special about me? Why do you like working with me? And they can almost give you the winning pitch in their response. That's another way to get your re response. But this is a nice, easy way. Complete the four steps. Then what I want you to do is summarize that those four steps, the answers to the four steps, into a 10 second tagline. That's right. I want you to keep summarizing it down and down until you find the winning pitch. Now, I am going to say that the winning pitch will take you a while to develop. It's not something that will come quickly. It, it's something that will change and evolve and it will become better and better as you go along, as you find the right words. There is a great tool out there called ShareWords that a friend of mine uh, created. Hop onto ShareWords um, and utilize the service. Just use hashtag ShareWords and um, you'll be able to utilize, work with those people in, in enhancing your um, winning pitch. Good luck with that. It's a big task, but spend some time on it. It, it really is the difference often in starting a conversation and being effective in networking. When you get that aha moment from people, you'll see that the conversation will just go very well from there and you'll be able to build long-term relations very quickly. So get that right. And remember the winning pitch is something that you just tell people and uh, at networking events, you can share it on multiple platforms, including your website, your marketing material, um, turn it up at social occasions and so forth. Just get your winning pitch out there. The point of the winning pitch is that you want to say it so often that your friend turns around and goes, oh, this is my friend and this is what they do. And they share your winning pitch with people around them. That's when your winning pitch is being winning for you.